Hello everyone, um, this is a quick tutorial to give you a few tips on how to use Edmodo. Okay, so if you are a teacher and you have already signed up, you were taken to your dashboard and if you want to join a group, then here on the right sidebar you have groups, so you click join, you enter the code you were given and then click join. Now if you want to create a group for your students, for example, then you click Create, complete the information necessary, and then Create. As soon as you click Create, you'll be um, provided with a code to share with your students. Now, all the groups you belong to, they're here on the left sidebar. Okay? So, if you want to see all the messages from one specific group, you just click on the name of the group, and then you're going to see the messages from that specific group. Now, to write to groups or to individuals, what you do, you just click on the text box, like I just did, and write a message. Okay, so hello everyone. Now, along with the text message, you can attach files, so it could be a picture, a Word document, a PowerPoint, a PDF or even a Promethean flip chart. Uh, you can also, so let's see here, if you click File, um, it, you were taken to a page, yeah, I mean to this part here where you find the file in your own computer. Um, you can also share a link, for example, YouTube videos or even embeddable applications which you create in the internet. Then all you have to do is either copy the URL address, copy no paste the URL address here or the embed code, um, write a title for the web page and click attach. Um, all the documents you attach to your messages are automatically kept in your own library so you can have access to the documents you have shared before. Uh, it's very important that you keep an eye on your notifications here on the right sidebar. So if you click show notifications, then you're going to see the direct um, messages you have received, um, alerts people have posted, okay? Um, something else. Like I said, you can send messages to groups or to individuals. So let's imagine if you want to, if the send box, which is this one, if it's empty and I want to send a message to Kultura et Tech, for example, I start typing and then I find it and I click it. If I click the send button, the message will be sent to the whole group. Now let's imagine I want to send it to an individual. Okay, so I type a name and then the name is there, I select that name, click send, and the message will be sent only to this specific individual. Above the text box, you can see you can send notes, you can send alerts to students. The difference is when you send an alert, the message goes directly to your student's email. Okay? Um, you can send assignments, and you can load assignments. There is a due date and then students can turn in the assignment. You can propose a quiz, you create the quiz, or you can even create a poll to find out more information about your students. Okay, so um, below each message shared by the members of a group, you can reply to the message, you can share it, like in Facebook, and you can tag it so that you can um, retrieve the message later on. You can organize them with tags. Another way of finding previous uh, posts is using the search box which, here, which is here at the top. Okay? So, bye-bye.